Cha cha guys, my name's Thomas Rob. Today I'm just gonna quickly run through this piece of art that I created recently with you and uh, just let you in on a little bit of the creative process. So obviously the first step is to get inspiration. Every piece of art starts like this, obviously. And the next step will be blocking out the scene. And this is where we go into Blender and we just create basic blocks uh, of how the scene is gonna lay out. And uh, this is where the composition and framing and everything is gonna be made. The next step will be asset decision. So basically this step is going through and finding the assets uh, either in your own library or online that you want to use. Personally, I wasn't focused on modeling in this. I was focused on compositing and lighting. So I went to BlendSwap and download, downloaded the models that I wanted. And the problem is that the models were in Blender internal, not cycles. So I had to convert those. So the next step after that will be placing the models in your scene. And this is where the creative juices really get flowing because you start um, figuring out exactly where you want everything to be placed and uh, you start realizing that you don't have enough assets and you need to go get more or you have too many and you are that's very rare that you have too many and that's really happy when you do um, but then you start also modeling like the streets and everything like that to the things that you're gonna actually do because you can't find those anywhere and the next step after that will be starting to work on the lighting and because this is one of the reasons I was doing this piece of art was to learn how to light I spent the most time on this area trying to figure out how to light this scene and um, I found that my creative juices really flagged here and they really just kind of stopped flowing because I didn't really know what I needed to do and what I did was I went and looked at a bunch of pictures that I had taken of pretty sunrises here on our farm and I got inspiration that way. So the next step after that, once I picked out a uh, sky that I wanted, was to work on the compositing. And obviously, um, there's so many, so much freedom here. Uh, I did a a, a pre-comp in Photoshop, and then I brought it all back into Blender. And it's uh, challenging when you're first starting out, and it can be very scary. But uh, it's it's one of the most rewarding processes of the computer graphics industry. So in the end, I really wanted a kind of a Thomas Kincaid look to this piece with the light streaming in and, and uh, I just really wanted a, a surreal lighting for this scene. So I'm very happy with this piece of art and I hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing this little tiny breakdown of the creative process and I'll see you guys next time.